In case you missed the headline through the day, here's why you should still have some hope of a cricket cleanup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the cookie has crumbled and Mr. N. Srinivasan's BCCI stint is effectively over unless he's got another trick up his sleeve. No, he can't contest the Indian cricket board elections anymore as the boss of the Chennai Super Kings. And no, he can't use the no conflict escape route. The controversial clause that everyone is talking about has been demolished. Tonight, it's over, Mr. Srinivasan. And let's get straight to our first get. Top Supreme Court advocate Harish Salve, who took on Mr. Srinivasan in this epic battle. Mr. Salve, congratulations. Uh, in the light of what has happened today, question one, is the Indian Premier League sustainable anymore? Should it just be scrapped? given that the conflict of interest has been confirmed and two team officials have been found guilty of betting. Um, Arnab, in fact, uh, you know, uh, I read the judgment and uh, I read it with relief, but not with any joy. I read it to the degree of sadness. You and I both are cricket fans and nobody is happy that it has, things have come to this pass. But uh, let me tell you, I <clears throat> was a little surprised. The judges have recorded the submissions made by, on behalf of Mr. Sirinivasan, to sustain the no conflict clause, clause yeah, saying yeah. IPL is a pure commercial venture. I think uh, it is. I'm not. I'm not a fan of the IPL. I don't like that format of the game. Maybe I belong to a different generation who prefers. At best, one-day cricket, five-day cricket is ideal. But uh, it has brought cricket to a l very large number of people who don't even have patience for uh, one-day cricket. So, but it can be used as a positive measure. Also, it has brought some wealth and fortune to the cricketers and it attracted a lot of talent. So, I don't think IPL needs to be scrapped. But I think where you have such a potent commercial uh, venture... There has to be rank transparency in the organization and now a time has come for a Chinese wall between those who administer the sport and those who have any kind of financial interest in the sport. Yeah, but Mr. Salve, there, there are, there are, there are the nine other players. Direction. As you are aware, there are nine other players who na whose names are still with the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court is yet to take a call Not on only. their fate. We have a judgment today. That is seriously critical of the way things have been handled by the BCCI and the Indian Premier League. Given the fact that the IPL is round the corner, the players whose roles are under scrutiny, can the IPL continue? How can you have a situation where you have nine other players, many of them will be playing in the IPL, whose role is under scrutiny, also playing in the Premier League? See, uh, Arunab, this is where we have now a hiatus. If you had a robust BCCI... They would have said, enough is enough, we are going to get proactive, we are going to find out who are those people. And cricketers like Caesar's wife have to be above suspicion. Your role models for the younger generation, the nation looks up to you. As the Supreme Court says, you are one of the greatest unifying factors in this country. There is no place for those on whom there is a question mark, however good your skills may be. Now... Who is going to take that call? Supreme Court has, for the present, left it to uh, somebody else. Now, I have a feeling, and if you read the order of the judgment, one can construe that this extremely powerful committee which they have constituted, very unusual, a former Chief Justice and two very senior retired judges, and that committee will go into the two IPL franchises. But believe me, when that matter opens, the can of worms is going to open. Because the whole betting thing will have to be probed and the whole can of worms is going to open. And I think at some stage the players who are question mark would be rendered answerable. Well, surely they will. One way of opening now, up the can of worms, Mr. Salve. And I think the can of worms should be open. If you ask me, Mr. Salve, open up the can of worms. Is there dirt within? If there are maggots inside, let them come out. Let the cricket lovers see them. My last question Absolutely. to you, Mr. Salve, is the Supreme Absolutely. Court has said today that the Indian Cricket Board should, would come under the purview of Article 226 of the Indian Constitution, that it serves a public function. So, Mr. Salve, should the BCCI not also come under the purview of the Right to Information Act? Absolutely. There is no... I mean, that, that is as night follows day. And uh, let me tell you the significance of this. 
they have accepted i had argued i had cited the cbc judgment where the supreme court introduced a salutary principle in indian public law it is not there in any other jurisprudence yes, we yes. have it we are proud of it it's the principle of institutional integrity and it's that high standard of rectitude which will now apply to bcci well let's see how they follow it it's a strong club out there mr salve i feel it's a cozy club you stood up against the cozy club and you won congratulations that harish salve for you top supreme court advocate who's pushed this case in a direction many people felt would not have happened and many people felt harish salve would not have won the case because n srinivasan is a person who's been seen to be a hard nut to crack now mr salve thanks very much 